Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In the previous tutorial, we have created our Git account. We have provided the username and we have also provided the email address. So we have created an account with Git. So now moving back to our repository, we have created a Git repository and we have an index.html file present inside of that Git repository. But now we need to go ahead and push that particular file to the repository. Right now, Git is not tracking that file. How you can verify? You can always go ahead and check the status of your repository and it tells you there is untracked files called index.html. Do If you want to track it, you need to first go ahead and add it to the staging. So if you want Git to track your file, you need to add that file to the staging or you need to create a snapshot. Now, what is this snapshot? Snapshot is basically is a kind of a, a state of the project at a point at a given point in time. So it's basically snapshot is represents the state of your project at a given point in time. What we did it in this case, we created a snapshot with index.html. So if you wanted to go ahead and create a snapshot, you just have to say git add and whatever the file name that is there, it is going to go ahead and add that file to the staging or it will create a snapshot. So what, what does this snapshot will do is if you want to revert back to this particular version, you can always go ahead and do that. So now git add index.html. So now if you go ahead and check the status, it will go ahead and say that, okay, changes. Now you need to commit the changes. Now you have the file has been will be tracked by the Git because it does not say untracked file anymore anymore. And now it says you need to commit your changes. So you have your file present in the staging folder. So there are two process before you commit your change to the repository. First, the file gets moved to the staging. And from the staging, when you commit the file, it goes to your um, go to your repository. So it's a two step process. So you need another command The git add only adds it to the staging folder. Now you need to commit the uh, particular changes. So whatever the git, com git commit is whatever is present under the staging folder, it will go ahead and move those to your uh, repository. So we will go ahead and say git commit and you don't have to provide the uh, file name because whatever is present in the staging, whatever the files are there, this command is going to commit the changes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and it's always, always a good practice to provide a message when you're committing so it will always tell you what kind of change you made to that particular file or what, what what bug number you fixed in that particular commit so you can always remember to put a message so you can always say um, first commit of index file and then you can always go ahead and hit enter so now you will say that okay one file changed whatever the file you have added and it will go ahead. Now, if you look at the status of your repository, you will say nothing to com uh, commit means the stat, the repository and your working directory or on whatever your local is both are in sync. There is nothing that you need to go ahead and commit or there is nothing that you need to track or say. both are in sync together. So let me repeat what I told you. So I will say there the commit of the file or pushing the file to the repository happen in two steps. One is called as adding to the staging directory or staging folder. And the NLX one is committing it to the repository. Okay, so there are two step process here. Commit to the repository and add to the staging folder. So by writing the git add command, what it does is it only adds it to the staging folder. It means you start to track the file. That's what it happens under the git add. It does not commit to the repository. It does not push the file to the repository. If you want to push the file to the repository, you need to go ahead and provide get commit command and also if you it's good practice to always give a message while committing so once you enter these two commands now your file has been successfully pushed to the repository and git will take care of any changes if you made to the file or if you added new files to the folder or anything you always need to track so how you can track by writing a git add command once you track the file it pushes it to the staging folder. From the staging folder, you need to move it to the repository. That is done by using a git commit command.